Right now, an urgent search is underway for a man who police say hit someone in the head with a metal pipe inside a Queen subway station. It's the same station where another victim was stabbed last week, leading to increased concerns about subway safety in general. Crime is up compared to this time last year. Eyewitness News reporter Phil Tate, live in Long Island City with the very latest. Phil? Yeah, Charlene, well, for riders I spoke with, they tell me that they are scared following a week of violent crime. Meanwhile, a slew of investigations are now underway aimed at reducing those numbers that we are seeing in our transit system and to ultimately to keep New Yorkers safe. Ooh, not very safe. Not very safe coming through here on a regular basis. It's a little scary. It really is, but... Uh... You know, you got to get to work. Riders on edge after a violent assault early Saturday morning. Police say a 31 year old man was struck multiple times to the head with a metal pipe. This morning, the attacker is still on the loose. Hey, you just got to be vigilant. You got to keep your eyes open. The NYPD is searching for this man who they believe to be responsible, asking New Yorkers to keep their eyes open. As we sit here right now, we're looking at uh, upwards of a thousand additional cops a day uh, in uniform assigned to the subway system throughout the city. Even with an increased police presence, just two days prior to Saturday's mayhem, a 29 year old man from Brazil was slashed on his neck at this very same station. It's not just the police presence. We all need to be a part of bringing down this crime and you know, if we if we see really see something and, and just not feel something that's not right, we should say something. Police are searching for this person who they believe to be responsible in this slashing incident. Meanwhile, just a week ago, bullets flew at the Mount Eden station in the Bronx. Police are still on the hunt for a teenager who investigators say shot and killed a 35 year old man on the train platform, including a 14 year old who police believe was another shooter. Well, if you don't have more cops, everything is going to stay the same. And important to note, according to NYPD Comstats, our subway system is seeing a rise in overall crime by 22.6%.